Hey guys, Matty Boy here, and in this video we're going to be using Canva to overlay our design on a JPEG background mock-up image. So, uh, first of all, uh, you need to go to Canva, create an account if you don't have one. Uh, you can use a free account or a paid account. Uh, so we're going to be doing this free, the freestyle way. So what I'm going to do is hit create a design up here, and then I'm going to go with custom size. And I'm going to type in 3000 by 2250. Okay and hit create new design okay now <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do then is grab the background image so I'm going to grab one of these t-shirts drag and drop it in uh, and then I'm going to grab these handles out here now I already had a practice at making this video so you'll see over here I already have the t-shirt in once you've uploaded it to Canva it will actually be in your library so you won't need to keep uploading them again and again Drag it out until the uh, it will snap to the corners. So you fill the canvas there, and then go ahead and get your design. So I'm going to go ahead and get my design. Drag and drop that in. Okay. Uh, we can then grab these corners again. We can resize it and position it on the background image. Now, of course, every background image will be slightly different. So uh, you just need to eyeball it. You can rotate it by clicking this little rotate button at the bottom here, and just. Get it right in there like that and then i'm just going to click away over here now with canva you can come back in you can click the image again if you want to uh, tweak it again but i think that's fine we'll just leave it like that um, one other thing you may want to do depending again design design is just reduce the opacity a little bit um, because sometimes they look a little bit bright and a little bit unrealistic so you can come up to this uh, transparency uh, icon at the top and you can just turn tone down the transparency you can turn it right down to zero or wherever so I recommend you just tone it down a little not too much okay so if you're happy with that as your mock-up you can go ahead click share uh, click download I would uh, I would use JPEG if I was you um, because there are there's less data in the image and it will be a lighter image especially if you're using your own website then it will um, help your website load a little faster um, so I'm going to show you a couple of other things you might want to do as well and that is add your logo or any image at all I'm going to just take my uh, designs for POD website logo uh, again you can resize it move it <coughs> position it where you want so you can brand your brand your mock-ups with your logo you could add like sales banners and things like that also within um, within Canva if you've got a paid account they've got lots of other funky things that you could add as well so uh, that's for paid users um, what I'm actually gonna do if you select text there we can also add text so I'm gonna click add a heading and I'm gonna just put on sale now on sale now okay of course you can put whatever words you want uh, and we can move position uh, scale these uh, we can change the font up here where it says Canva Sans. So I'm going to use Sinzel. And I'm going to change the color by clicking this A here with uh, this little color bar underneath. I'm going to change it to white like that. Okay, so we now have our mock-up. You could add more text in different places, more images, whatever you want. Uh, once you're happy with it, go ahead, hit share, hit download. I personally would uh, change it to JPEG, although it doesn't matter and then go ahead and hit download <clears throat> okay that's just downloaded now and there we have it let's go and have a quick look at it make sure it looks okay and it's this one here there we go done okay thanks guys and I'll catch you in the next video bye for now